it's gonna go quick. Oh yes, look at that. Do you see the blue? Yeah, it's oh, yeah, blue. blue. Oh, and red. The yellow doesn't really show. The yellow doesn't show too much. Yes, you're right. But the yellow the didn't blue. show too much. This time the blue. That's shows. pretty cool, right? Look at that elephant toothpaste. Hoo -hoo. Today we are going to make elephant toothpaste. So it's a very fun and easy project. You don't need much, but parents be advised, it can be messy. So I would strongly recommend you to be close by and actively monitor if the kids do it themselves. But hello everyone, I'm Anne, the little Frenchie in Big Texas. Welcome to my kitchen for this fun science experiment where we are going to learn what a catalyst is and how it works here to make an elephant toothpaste. So what do we need? Not much. The main ingredient here is going to be your hydrogen peroxide. What you use every day in the house when you've got wounds. That's it. We're going to need just a tiny bit of dish soap, some food coloring, your choice here and the catalyst, which is going to be our dry yeast here. So how does it work? A catalyst here, it is a substance that's going to activate a reaction, make it happen. Without it, not much is going to go on with your elephant to space, but with it, pshoo, let's try. Let me lower you here so that you get to see what I do. So, as I said, it can be messy, so I have uh, actually kind of dirty, which is good. We're going to clean it after. Oven dish, just to contain it in case it uh, becomes out of control. I have a bottle of water, plastic bottle, any would do. I would recommend to have it transparent so that you actually see what's going on inside. So how are we going to start? We are going to need, here I've got my measuring cup and here is more of a mixing bowl. So measuring cup here, half a cup, we want some hydrogen peroxide. So half a cup hydrogen peroxide, we are going to pour it into the bottle. Always better to protect your eyes when using any kind of chemicals. Well, I'm not sure I'm going to do it nicely. So let me actually transfer it here. <laughs> Let's do it well. And here, exactly. Then what are we going to do? We're going to add just a tiny bit of Dawn dish soap. Drop. Yeah, drops. We're gonna mix it. Can I? I'm gonna mix it. Yeah. Oh, this is not the right cap. Oh no. Yeah, I'm not sure it's. Uh, yeah. Well, I can mix it. You wanna mix it? I wanna mix it. Okay. Let's make sure it is mixed. We want a tiny bit of dawn. Another little warning: while we mix uh, the hydrogen peroxide and the dawn dish soap. This is made for elephants, right, kids? This is not necessarily meant for you to use. So I would recommend not to use that toothpaste here. It's fun. You're gonna see full of color. I would not use it on your teeth. So next step here is to add your food coloring. So I have my little girl who here decided for blue and red. So we're gonna add a few drops. Try to keep the food coloring on the side of the bottle and don't mix it. Here, my bottle, we're gonna put a few drops of blue. It's supposed to look like the American flag. Uh, we are trying to do the American flag? Okay. Yeah. Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, you don't need much. Keep it, keep it on the side. Tilted. No, do not mix it. I was gonna keep it tilted. Okay, yeah, we don't want to mix it. And I'm gonna put some red. Put on more the... red because in the- You want more red? Maybe I can put two lines of red. One line here and one line on the other side. It's actually some nice uh, healthy natural food coloring for the kitchen here, but 
yeah that's all i had but yeah it's gonna be fun so you've got red but and blue the red is barely going so, down the red yeah but it will show it will show so next is the yeast your dry yeast and i have a tiny bit of warm water right here Mom, you so might we need give it the smart water to the middle because once you add the yeast it's gonna go kaboom yeah so we are going to add the yeast to the water here. Can I mix it? I love mixing it. I didn't get to mix it. When, uh, okay, if you want, you can mix it. It I smells. A little girl who wants it, to mix. Okay, I'm mixing. okay, I'm gonna let her mix. I actually just noticed it was an expired yeast from a year ago, so I hope it's still gonna work. It's gonna be a good test to see how long the yeast lasts. But let's try it out. So we're gonna to have to. That's where it Quick. happens. Quick. Quickly pour it and see the reaction. Hurry! And there you go. Elephant toothpaste. Look at that color. That's very pretty. I think Where's we didn't. The blue? Yeah, I think we did not put enough blue. I like the red though. Yeah, we should have put more blue because it's mostly reddish. Yeah, we, we could still add the blue. Tiny bit of blue here. Wait, it's coming. It's coming. It's, it's still coming. coming out. I think it's gonna come. It's, you think it's gonna come? Maybe add it now before it's too late. You, you want that? <laughs> it stops awesome. kind of. Uh, <laughs> okay. Yeah. There you go. You think? I'm not sure. It's the end of the reaction. Yeah, it's kind of going down still. But yeah. that's what the catalyst means. That's what it did. See? This yeast here in some lukewarm water, that's what activated the reaction here. Yeah, the blue is not a success here. No. It's no. Not. But. The That's red a pretty is cool. cool toothpaste. Huh? The red is cool. The red is cool, you think? Yeah, I think it's very pretty. I want to stick my finger and eat it. Oh, you don't eat <laughs> it. Don't stick your finger. Yes, guys, this is not uh, this is not meant to be eaten. It's mostly hydrogen peroxide, so you don't want to eat it. And I would recommend not to use it either as a toothpaste. It's a fun experiment to do in the kitchen. Make sure you take precaution as it blows up and expands quite quickly here. But it is fun, just don't use it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And if you've already tried, let me know how it went for you. Thank you all for watching. Uh -huh. right, let's go. Careful, huh? It's gonna go quick. Oh yes, look at that. Do you see the blue? Yeah, oh, yeah the blue. See the blue. Oh, and red. The yellow doesn't really show. The yellow doesn't show too much. Yes, you're right. But the yellow didn't blue. show too much. This time the blue. That's shows. pretty cool, right? Look at that elephant toothpaste. Hoo hoo, made by the girls this time, 100%. Oh yes, very nice. You know what I like to do? I like to take a spoon and I like, it, and I like to just sweat it. Okay, as long as you don't eat it, that's fine. You can play with it. Maybe it's gonna... No, 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 no. Maybe... <laughs> that's not fun. Maybe it's gonna wash actually that... Uh, it's a foamy tray. texture. It's a foamy texture, yeah. It stopped, huh? See? It went very quick thanks to the catalyst. It made it happen quick. But now it stopped. Yes. Yeah. What happens if I turn it Yeah, it's just some foam here. It's like a toothpaste bottle. You press it, you get the toothpaste out, right? I think we're good to throw that bottle away now, huh? Yeah. I got some yellow. It had yellow. a good life. Okay. I got some yellow. And that tray is getting washed. Very good. Well. How do you like that elephant toothpaste, girls? I love it. Awesome. You love it? It's it awesome. Bad. It smells bad because we have expired yeast. Oh, you think it be, it's because of the yeast, yeast? Yeah, it smells really bad. Yeah. I wouldn't say it smells bad. We could have put some essential oil maybe, I don't know, to change the smell. 
it really doesn't smell that bad i think it's the mix of the yeast and the hydrogen peroxide that's got that smell but yeah anyway good wash for the the Can tray here no you don't taste it angeli no <laughs> they know they're not supposed to so that's the game <laughs>